We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station, V103, brought to you by... McDonald's Atlanta. Listen up. Enjoy all-day breakfast at McDonald's, your nearest McDonald's, and today and every day. Don't forget to join Ryan and I as we will be doing our thing at McDonald's. Make sure you join us at 834 Thornton Road in Lithia Springs today from 12 noon until 2 o'clock p.m. All right. That's right. Okay. Uh, Sierra turned 30. Nice. With a surprise. Oh, okay, so tell me about it. Saturday, mm-hmm. she thought she was going to a movie premiere. So she goes to the Warner Brothers lot at Burbank Studios where she met her boyfriend, Russell Wilson. I was going to say, who's taking her? Oh, okay, okay. But, but he was see? dressed in a Batman costume. Oh, yummy. Standing next to the Batmobile. <laughs> yummy. <laughs> <laughs> According to uh, People.com, they said Sierra was given a list of carefully planned instructions. Mm. Then they gave her a Catwoman suit. Oh. And a mask. That I'm sure she wore very yeah, well. Yeah, she looks great in this Catwoman suit. I'll tell you that right now. Before uh, he took her off to a car to the Batman exhibit, where she's like, okay, this is cool. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, surprise! 100 of her friends were there, all in costume, including Beyonce. Whoa! Dressed up as Storm, Whoa. Serena Williams, Kelly Rowland. Beyonce's friends with Sierra like showed that. Up and, and showed up in costume. Damn! <laughs> and, I might uh, see, see. 17-month-old Future <laughs> was dressed as Superman. What? Yeah. They said Sierra was so emotional, she started crying. Future was dressed up as Superman? Yeah. The Who? baby, the baby. Oh future. boy, I'm like, <laughs> wait a future. minute, dog. I said 17 month old future. Oh, Whew. all right, all right. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now that other future you talking about? Yeah, he was dressed up as the Invisible Man. He was dressed up as Batman because he was not there. <laughs> okay, let's be clear. He was not at that party. Oh, all wow. right. Uh, in other entertainment news, uh, we finally got more news about Lamar Odom. Okay. According to reports, they're saying that he suffered 12 strokes during his medical emergency. Mm. 12 strokes. Mm. They say the drugs that were in the system caused him to be unresponsive. Doctors are still worried about his long-term condition after it was revealed that those 12 mm-hmm. strokes a day he arrived at the hospital. Mm-hmm. They said that affected his motor skills. And because of mm-hmm. that, he could still face many problems down the road. Now. Somebody who doesn't care about that at all Uh-oh. is Chris Rock, who's getting ready for the Academy Awards, who sends say? out a tweet what did he say? saying, here's to Lamar Odom Uh-oh. on being the first guy in history to have coke and hookers save his marriage. <gasps> Stay strong, Lamar. Okay, that's funny. That it's is. all get out. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, it's too early, Chris Rock. <laughs> but you did that. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. All right. All right. There is an unauthorized book coming out about mm-hmm. Beyonce. And the guy who wrote it writes unauthorized books. Jay Randy Tarabarelli has done these for many, many years. Mm-hmm. He goes around and talks to everybody who knows you, mm-hmm. and you can't sue him because it's true. Well, we found out something that we thought was maybe true was a rumor, and Rihanna's former publicist says he made it all up. Apparently, uh, Jonathan Hay was Rihanna's publicist mm-hmm. and said before they put out Pond the Replay, he needed something to get her career going. So right, right. he started the rumor that Rihanna was messing around with Jay-Z. So he Remember did. that? Yes. He started that. Oh. He stated, the PR stunt that I did was out of desperation to help break Pond the Replay. It was reckless, and I didn't think it was going to work. I was just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what would stick. He goes on to say Beyonce on the cover of the tell-all book made him really sick because he knew that people were just going to buy the book to find out about that rumor. He says he apologized to Jay-Z and Beyonce, and now he has his music up on title. He hopes that won't help. That will not be uh, affected, but boy, stop. I'd have took that to my grave. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it was I'm in the book. sorry. I he know. He had to admit it because it was in the book. I know. Oh, now, man. Now, this is a funny thing. He said he stopped being Rihanna's publicist to work on his mm. music career. Whatever, mm. man. Mm. That was a good one, though, because we all believed that, didn't yeah. we? I know I did. I was like, well, the, Rihanna the, and Jay-Z? Oh, but the problem God. was that Rihanna was only 17 at the time. But remember how Jay-Z was reacting to everything, though? Like, yeah. it was true. Yeah. Well, that was his main concern mm. that they would say, you know, Jay-Z... And Rihanna, she was 17. That's kind of, you know, kind of yeah. freaky. The whole cell phone thing. He had an extra cell phone. Yeah. And, oh, wow. So the man admitted it was all made up. All right. You did that. Good luck with your career, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> 721 right now. That is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station's V103. And if you don't know, now you know, you know, you know, you know.